Guys, I'm Josh Cooper, and this is Just Use Fitness. Obviously, if you look down below, you'll see the name tag. But what I'm going to show you here is a, I promise this video is a low carb pasta. Show the ingredients you need for this. Um, any kind of tofu noodles, this is spaghetti. Okay, but tofu noodles. I got vegetables here, I got some broccoli. Um, you will need a spaghetti strainer for sure, either a microwave or a stove. One or the other. Um, Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, tomato, guacamole, or half an avocado. And this is this uh, Greek seasoning. You can get your own blend of herbs uh, if you want something that's a little hotter, a little spicier. Um, but these two things right here, I actually found at Walmart. So they're really good. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how this is done in a second. I'm going to do it in the skillet but the quickest way is in the microwave. All right, so what I'm gonna do is first I have to drain the pasta, I'm gonna rinse it off, and then I'm gonna show you cooking it. Ew. You wanna make sure you, uh, you rinse this stuff off pretty thoroughly. Um, it is gonna have a little bit of a smell as soon as, you're, as soon as you open it, but once you rinse it off and start cooking it, you won't smell it anymore. If you want it to get away with not not smelling it as much as you can, just put it in the microwave, okay? But I found that on the stove it tastes a lot better. So what what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn on the stove. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, not much, not much at all. You can use a spray or whatever you like, but this is a little bit of olive oil adds a little bit of flavor to it. You don't have to cut up tomato, you don't like to use a tomato at all, but I really like it with avocado. It tastes pretty daggum good. Um, you can add this before or after. I'm going to go ahead and mix all this stuff up. Okay, now how much Greek yogurt? You can use up to four ounces. Um, I recommend doing that. However, I also recommend adding a little bit in when you're cooking the when you're cooking the pasta. That should be about an ounce and a half to two ounces right there. All right, why I say. Um, I'm using the skillet instead of microwaving it. I found that because there is going to be a little bit of moisture in the noodles, I found that when you put it in the skillet, it actually takes a lot of the moisture out so you get more of a like a pasta noodle <laughs> texture versus if you microwave it. Um, when I microwave it, I have to microwave it and then put it on a plate and take a paper towel and pat all the moisture off. So this just cooks, as you can see, there's steam coming up. This just cooks all the, all the moisture off of it for you. That way you can just put it on your plate and it's ready to eat. See, I keep this on here a lot longer, about almost 10 minutes, okay, to completely dry out the noodle. That way I don't have to do that. That way you're, you're not going to have to do that afterwards. Normally afterwards you're going to have to dry it off. Um, this way you don't have to. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the guacamole now to give it the avocado flavor or if you want you can use your avocado but I'm going to show you how to do it with the guacamole. One serving size, two tablespoons or 30 grams. I'm going to use 60 grams which is four tablespoons. Um, you're more than welcome to use 30. That's not, it's going to not hurt the recipe at all. I'm just adding more in because I'm trying to hit more fats with this meal. Mmm, it's so good. So what I'm gonna do, I got the guacamole in there. Now, I'm going to add two more. Yeah, there we go. An ounce and a quarter or three quarters, whatever. That's about two ounces added back in. And all I'm gonna do, these noodles are hot and that's good because that's going to help this stuff soften up like a like an actual pasta sauce. Okay. 
can see it's very thick. All right, you gotta kind of play with these noodles a little bit. That way you can get them to come apart. Come back up now. Looks good. Hmm? Looks good. See? It smells even better. Oh my God. So this is gonna almost look like a pesto sauce. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. That's good. That's really good. I'm good at this. Mm. So, really simple, really fast. I think that was 12 minutes. Um, and if you put it in the microwave, it's going to be a lot faster. It literally would only take five, min five minutes to make this, especially if you already have the ingredients laid out. So, make sure to try it out. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for plenty more recipes. I appreciate any feedback, comments, anything. Um, in regards to how I can make these videos better or recipes you do want to see. I do have one more uh, of these. I made one of these last year. Okay, so if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out my other recipe um, for a healthy 